Hey guys, it's Pokemon Bry hopping in here again. To start off today's video, I figured we'd jump into some Paradox Rift since I feel like due to the holiday and all the crazy deal videos that I was posting last month, haven't really had a full chance to, you know, open as much of this as I'd like to and kind of want to try to complete the set. So we're going to start off here with just, uh, I believe it's eight packs, um, Paradox Rift. So hope you guys are all having an awesome Monday. Uh, if you guys caught my video that I dropped yesterday, uh, you found out the sad news, at least for me, that I wasn't able to go to the card show I was looking forward to because of the uh, snow that we received around here. So, um, still have those uh, holes and Silver Temptus to work on, so we may be looking at a booster box opening of that soon. There's uh, not too many we need. Uh, I just found out that there's a sweet uh, Rayquaza that I'm missing from the set, which I honestly, I it's my first time scrolling through the set list, and I was just like, what is this? So that's definitely going to be on the radar to open up. Tinka Tough and Paradox Rift. Um, I was reading a little bit about the, the pull rate on Paradox, and it's actually... Other than 151, this has the hardest pull rate out of all the Silver Tempest at this, um, not Silver Tempest, um, Scarlet Violet at this point. So, kind of has me, uh, has me a little excited because I like the, uh, the chase cards that come to it. Um, Lily Parb, there's a sweet one right there. That is an awesome, awesome Magby. Amazing artwork on that. I can tell you I do not have this card. Love it. I think that's the one thing they uh, they did well by bringing a lot of these artworks to Scarlet Violet, but compared to the alternate arts of um, Sword and Shield, it's kind of kind of going on the back burner a little bit. But they have the awesome Roaring Moon card in here. Definitely one I'd like to pull. Uh, we did pull the uh, Japanese version. On the the first video that I opened it up, so that was uh, that was pretty cool. That kind of made me feel like the card was gonna be a little common, but it's not. So that's cool. Still looking for that one in here. Absol, Gilscar. We are halfway through here now. So the packs of unbroken bonds that we're gonna be opening up today. They uh. I, I liked you guys know I like to know where my product comes from that it's in a you know non tamper non weighed I like I like collectors boxes tins just to know that it um it's it I'm getting what I'm getting that's what I'm getting at so uh, when I was at the uh, trade event a couple weekends ago um, the shops actually it's a, it's called Montco Cards uh, it's it's pretty pretty cool spot. They had some brand new booster boxes in there that they opened. So I did what any, you know, sane person would do when they did that. And I bought a hundred dollars worth of packs. <laughs> so, um, obviously after some of those huge tag team cards at that and hoping to get lucky with it. And who knows, maybe I'll be, uh, maybe I'll be back up there soon to go and grab some more. Onyx. It's my boy Swablu. Militank. Yeah, the pull rate is not. This is a... I, I opened this booster box yesterday for the Pokemon Pack Wheel. And, I mean, this is all we got from 8. Maybe we opened 2 during the Pack Wheel yesterday. But, we've not had the heat so far yet from this box. So, Orcorio. Swablu. Fairthorn. You bit all. So now we are getting to the point here. Um, these are the five packs that I picked up of Unbroken Bonds. They were uh, 20 bucks a pack. They're more expensive than when I bought them probably a, almost a year ago now. I was picking these up for like 12 bucks a pack. So 20 bucks is pretty um, pretty fair at this point. The, uh, the cards that we're looking for, I just pulled up the price chart here. Um, I'm blown away to see that the ETB is, uh, like 350 bucks. Um, this guy right here, um, 
Booster box about 540. But um, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of trainers and tag teams that are on top there that break, you know, that $50 mark, which is the, in my opinion, the, the you know, the top tier cards of sets. So we're just going to run through these. Um, again, these came out of a sealed booster box. And I just grabbed the first five packs on the left. So we could end up with some crazy, crazy pulls here. I really hope we do. <laughs> so anyway, phew, back to this pack art. Sun and Moon pack art. It's, it's great. I love it. I love it. Caterpie, Cotney, Ekins, Carvana, Litton, Ultra Forest to a Persian, non-hollow. It's our first pack of Unbroken Bonds. We definitely take the goose egg on that one, but that'd be a sweet tag team. I had one of these recently that I traded the uh, Marshadow Machamp. It's definitely a cool card. Used it actually towards a um, the Aerodactyl alternate art from uh, Lost Origin. I had to combine it obviously with some other cards, but I uh, definitely got that one checked off the list. So working towards completing Lost Origins also. If we can ever just get that Garatina. Uh, Fairy Charm, Ty Rogue. Don't see him too often. Not too often. Aron, Sandshrew, Ghastly, Tangela, Benonat, Rattata. That's pretty, pretty sweet. And we are 0 for 2, guys. 0 for 2. Unbroken bot. It's, it's swing. I, I don't even know at this point. It's a blast to open these, though. I'm, you know... I'm extremely grateful I have the opportunity to purchase these and hoping hoping to have some crazier fairy energy, which another thing you I don't even think you see that anymore. I don't think it's in sets. Um, welder. We got Haunter. Crocorok, Clefairy, Seal, Ilgar, Mistrevious, Glam Meow, Ekins, Sandslash, 0 for 3 on unbroken bonds. Two packs left here. Kind of wondering, should I have gone with the right side instead of the left? But who knows? Who knows? We know that it is a hard set to get pulls on. Um, cards don't come like they do in the uh, Scarlet Violet era. I got to remember that I'm doing the card trick right here. And we are on Stealthy Hood. Chatat. Matata. Goldine, come on. We need we need some heat. We need some heat. Santa Dial. Jigglypuff into a Gensec. That is a cool Gensec, though. But we are... That's 80 bucks, guys. That's 80 bucks. So, last pack here. Um, hoping for the best. I, I don't even think we've seen a hollow. Let me, uh, let me flip back through these code cards. I don't think we've even gotten a hollow out of it now. That's still unbroken bonds. Yeah. We we don't even have a Wow, that is crazy. One, two, three. Yeah. We haven't even seen a hollow yet. So hopefully this is the uh, the heat we're looking for. Get a redemption on all those uh packs that we just went through. And leave here. Extremely happy. Paradox Rift wasn't that nice either, but you know, we, we get ones, we don't get ones. Um, so we'll see which way this goes here. Triple Acceleration Energy, Krabby, Rilu, Esper, Porygon. <sighs> Do we have anything behind Seeking or did I just take $100 out of that booster box so somebody else didn't have to? We struck out five fresh packs out of a booster box goose egg anyway guys it it's an absolute blast to have the opportunity to open this stuff up though i i do enjoy it and i'm, I'm glad i get to share it with you all so hope you guys had as much fun as i did and i'll see you next time